Hello folks, welcome to Nasdaq YouTube channel. In my previous video, I already show you how to apply free Oracle account and you can get two free Oracle Autonomous Database, two AMD Computer VMs, and recently you also can get four instances of ARM Ampere A1 Compute instances. I had a video to talk about it, how to apply this free ARM computer instance and how to install Docker, Ubuntu desktop, Docker Compose container, all those things in there. If you haven't done that, you can look at my blog post to talk about how to install those Dockers. This is my Pertainer Dockers. Right now, they're running three containers. My Nginx, Ubuntu, no VNC, Pertainer. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress with the MySQL database. By default, if you do click Deploy the default template, it won't work because there are some settings not fit into this ARM-based instance. So let me show you that. Deploy stack. It's showing deployment in progress, but eventually you will get an error message. It's here, deployment error, status no matching manifest for Linux um, 6.4 v8 in the manifest list entries, code 1. It doesn't work. So we are going to custom templates and make it working. Let's start it. To create your own custom template, Based on default WordPress template, you can click Copy as custom button. Now you can enter your title. Enter some descriptions. Other than that, you can keep default for other settings. So one thing I found, the default template is wrong is MySQL. 5.7 is not good for ARM 6 4 bit architecture. So, if you search MySQL Docker image for ARM 6 4, you'll find the list Docker Hub link. And based on this link, you will see MySQL Server 8.0, which is good for ARM 6 4 bit architectures. So, basically, we're going to change it to 8.0. Here we're gonna change the image name to MySQL, MySQL Server 8.0. After that, you only need to click Create Custom Template. And that's it. Let's deploy our first WordPress stack using Custom Template, my WP template. So I'm gonna give a new name called my WP. So here is the configuration. I would like to keep the default, just deploy the stack. So as you can see, I in the stack, I got the two instances. One is WP WordPress, one is WPDB. And for WordPress, we are using 49165. So you may wonder if we might need a firewall to open this port. But actually, since we have MyNGINX deployed before, I'm going to use MyNGINX as our reverse proxy. One thing we have to do is we need to create our own subdomain for MyNGINX to use. So I created it before here, so we 
created a record on 1WP, which is the IP address of our VPS on VPS. As you can see, we I got the list IP from here using curl command. Then we can get our public IP. After you create your own subdomain, we're gonna go back to container. We're gonna log into console of my engine X container. Connect to the container. Go to engine X folder, configuration folder. So I already have on one wp.conf created, which is copy from potato.conf. If you haven't seen my video before, then you might need to search one of my videos to show you how to create the engine X configuration. But you also can get it from my post, which gonna show you the link in the video description. So now we're gonna just quickly Added it. So we server name, we also use in a subdomain we created in our DNS management console. We are using arm one wp and the proxy pass, we're gonna change it to my wp1. Let's see if that's our name. Let's open the containers. So my WP on the score what plus one. So in this case, we can just use that. The port is 80, so we can save it. And uh, we start Nginx service. As you can see, there's a command. They couldn't find upstream this container. The reason why is because they are in a different network. So right now we are using my WP default network. Actually we can add them into my bridge network. Join into my bridge. After that you should be able to restart the service without problem. So that's all configuration you need to do. You create your custom stack template. You create your WP stack. You change the Nginx configuration to match your subdomain and match your container name. After that, restart your Nginx service. Now we can give it try. We're gonna type um, one wp letter domain we created before. Um, one wp right away you got this famous wp setup window. So we're gonna choose English. We're gonna create a test one site username. I will just say admin. Um, I'm gonna use password 1234 as a demonstration. I'm gonna confirm I'm using weak password. Then I'm gonna use in test for my email. Then install WordPress. Then we should be able to log into our new WordPress website using new subdomain, which we just created. So we're gonna log in. We're gonna use the password. We just choose. Right away, we get this backend of the WordPress. You can visit the site. This is Hello World. Now, WordPress website is up and running on your ARM OS. So that's all for my today's video. 
please subscribe on my video channel if you haven't done that if you like my video give me a thumb up thank you for watching